older internet and welcome to the fourth and final block of the community round robin quilt along if you've missed the previous videos in this quilt along you'll find links down in the description below so for this block it's my turn to come up with the center and my immediate thought was a cat block because this is about community and a big part of community for me is getting to meet everybody's pets and also a bit of I'm just always going to take any excuse I can to put a cat into one of my quilts. <laughs> I also wanted to keep my block pretty simple because it's the last block and we've had some really complicated rounds so you're probably a bit tired and in the mood for something just simple and straightforward. I also wanted to keep my block quite small because I wanted to leave as much space as possible for Kelly and Michelle to get creative with their borders. Can't wait to see what they come up with. So let's get started on this cat. You're only going to need two fabrics for this block. A background plus a few scraps of another fabric for the cat. Cut one piece that's three and a half inches by two and a half inches for the cat's face and then two little one and a half inch squares for its ears. Then cut those same pieces from your background fabric. You're also going to need a three and a half by one and a half inch strip of background and two five and a half by one and a half inch strips. And that's it, all the pieces you need. Use those little one and a half inch squares to snowball one side of the face and the big background piece. That's going to give you the cat's ears and the shape of its chin. Trim the snowballs and press, then sew the ears to the face and the smaller strip below that. Finally, add the longer strips to each side and there's your block. It should finish at five and a half inches square. You can change its look quite a bit just by your fabric choices. Here's my three blocks. I hope you have fun making your cat blocks. Even though it's quite a simple block, I think there's a lot of opportunity to get creative with it. Whether that's just with your fabric choices, maybe fussy cutting a particular motif for the cat's face, or you could add some embellishments. What about some buttons for the eyes? Or even use a 3D element and add a bow. So much you could do. Next week, Kelly's going to be adding an inner border to this block, so make sure you're following her for that. And in the meantime, don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment. And I will see you next time. Ka kite anō, internet. Mm -hmm.